गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू न्यू लेसन फ्रॉम ज्योग्राफी पार्ट लेसन नंबर फोर वाटर रिसोर्स ऑफ कर्नाटका लेसन नंबर फोर फ्रॉम ज्योग्रफी पार्ट वाटर रिसोर्स ऑफ कर्नाटका इन दिस चैप्टर वी लर्न मेजर रिवर्स ऑफ कर्नाटका टाइप्स ऑफ रिवर्स इरीगेशन सिस्टम इन कर्नाटका हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पवर स्टेशन एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस एंड river water disputes so these are major contents of this lesson now let us begin with introduction part we know that there are number of rivers in our state among that river krishna kaveri palar pennar kali river netravati sharavati these all are major rivers of the state and rivers are the main source of water how rivers are the main source of water because people depends on river water for different purpose mainly for agriculture purpose along with that daily routine purpose and river water can be used in hydroelectric power stations to produce power can be produce power using flowing river water or waterfalls called hydroelectric power generation so these are major rivers and uses of river water now rivers of the state divided into two groups rivers of karnataka divided into two groups based on its flowing direction they are east flowing rivers and west flowing rivers rivers of karnataka divided into two groups east flowing rivers and west flowing river see river which flows towards eastern part of karnataka finally join with the bay of bengal why because bay of bengal located in eastern part of india at the same time rivers which flow towards western part join with the arabian sea because arabian sea is located in western part of india one more difference between these two maximum west flowing rivers are fast flowing rivers but not east flowing rivers why because steep slopes are there in western part of karnataka not a eastern part eastern part has a slight slopes we have studied about uh, slopes in a physiographic division lesson now let me explain first type of rivers called east flowing rivers there are number of east flowing rivers in our state among that most prominent and first one is a river krishna krishna river one of the second longest river in south india and longest river in karnataka total length of this river is 1392 kilometers from where to where mahabaleshwar both ways of river krishna mahabaleshwar is there in maharashtra near to attached to western ghats so it starts from mahabaleshwar and finally join with the bay of bengal from mahabaleshwar to bay of bengal total length of river krishna is 1000 392 kilometers and it flows towards the uh, eastern side or eastern part of uh, karnataka after karnataka it flows in andhra pradesh and finally join with the bay of bengal so that means uh, this river river krishna totally flow in three states first one both place maharashtra after that some part some portion of krishna river flows in karnataka it passes through belgam bijapur gulbarga these all northern maidan districts that's why northern maidan people highly benefited from river krishna after karnataka it entered to andhra pradesh then it joined with the bay of bengal but in karnataka it flows a uh, only 480 km distance total distance 1392 km among that in karnataka it flows only 480 kilometers so don't forget 
most important one more questions uh, birthplace of river krishna total length and its distance in karnataka these three also important one more questions now river krishna while flowing it creates a number of tributaries what is tributaries let me explain along with picture look at here just imagine this is a major river this is a major river on the way suppose if is there any slope regions by the time small part of river it will change its direction and it will create a new river called tributaries or it's also called sub rivers in kannada it's called upanadigalu upanadigalu created by major rivers like krishna kaveri so this is called tributaries bhima river created tributaries like sorry river krishna created tributaries like bhima koina tungabhadra ghataprabha malaprabha these all are tributaries of river krishna means created by river krishna separated from river krishna what are the uses of river krishna krishna river water using for a different purpose mainly for a agriculture purpose and hydroelectric power generation purpose wherein northern maidan because this river passes through northern maidan region so this is about a river krishna you can find out here is flowing rivers why join to the bay of, bay of bengal because here bay of bengal located in eastern part this side western part uh, arabian sea is there so that's why all the western west flowing rivers finally join with the arabian sea all the east flowing rivers finally joining with bay of bengal this is the picture of river krishna one of the longest river in karnataka and second longest river in south india after godavari you can see river krishna flowing direction it starts its journey from mahabaleshwar after flowing some distance in maharashtra it enter karnataka and it passes through northern maidan region after that it enter andhra pradesh and here it creates one tributary then major river join with the bay of bengal this one's join with the bay of bengal so don't forget total length of river krishna 1392 km and in karnataka 4 8 0 480 km in karnataka total length 1392 km so this is about a river krishna another most important is flowing river is river kaveri but kaveri river will not flow in northern maidan region how krishna passes through northern maidan no like only kaveri river passes through southern maidan region kaveri river is also known as dakshina ganga why called dakshina ganga we know that ganga river one of the very holy river in our country in india ganga one of the most holiest river like there only both place of kaveri river tala kaveri one of the holy place so that's why Ga- kaveri river became holy river and it's called uh, dakshina ganga because kaveri river located in the southern part of india and southern part of karnataka so it's called dakshina ganga total length of kaveri river is 804 km total length of kaveri is 804 look at here kaveri river flowing direction this is tala kaveri both place of kaveri river so in karnataka it flows 
380 kilometers in Karnataka it flows 380 kilometers and major part flows in Tamil Nadu after Karnataka it enter Tamil Nadu not Andhra Pradesh after Karnataka it enter Tamil Nadu and finally join with the Bay of Bengal here finally it join with the Bay of Bengal so in Karnataka its length of Kaveri river is 380 kilometers 380 kilometers and total length is 804 kilometers from where to where Talakaveri to Bay of Bengal so this is river Kaveri one of the holy river can be seen in Karnataka same like river Krishna Kaveri also creates number of tributaries so they are Hemavati, Harangi, Lokpavani, Arkavati, Sims one of the most important uh, tributary created by river Kaveri. Lakshmanati is also important tributary. Kapila, Suvarnavati, Bhavani, these all are tributaries are created by Kaveri river. And water of this river people use for a different purpose, agriculture purpose, power generation purpose and also for a drinking purpose also. So, this is about a river Kaveri along with Krishna and Kaveri two more important east flowing rivers are there in Karnataka. They are Palar and Pennar. Palar and Pennar take both in same place where in Nandi hills of Chikabalapur district. Here you can see six this is a both place of Palar and Pennar. After taking both in same place wherein Nandi hill station of Chikabaldapur district, it will change its flowing direction. It will change its flowing direction. Palar flows between three states, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. But Pennar flows only in two states, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Again, Pennar divided into two, Northern Pennar and Southern Pennar. When it reached to Tamil Nadu, people used to call Ponnayar in native language. Total length of Palar River is 348 kilometers from where to where? Nandi Hill to Bay of Bengal. And total length of Pennar River is 597 kilometers. Same from Nand Hill Station to Bay of Bengal. So, these are two more prominent east flowing rivers. So, this is about uh, east flowing rivers. Now, let us go to second type of rivers called west flowing rivers. Same like east flowing rivers, there are number of west flowing rivers are there. As I told you, many two differences are there between east flowing rivers and west flowing rivers. What are major two differences? First one, all the east flowing rivers finally join to the Bay of Bengal. But here, west flowing rivers are joining Arabian Sea because Arabian Sea is there in western part of Karnataka. And one more thing, east flowing rivers are flow more than one states. Why? Because after Karnataka, in the eastern part, there are different states like Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. So, those rivers flowing towards eastern part, it enters eastern states of Karnataka. But west flowing rivers will not enter any states because western part of Karnataka attached to Arabian Sea. So directly it will join with the Arabian Sea. That is why there is no river water dispute. There is no river water dispute. Means uh, Jala Vivada Illa regards to west flowing rivers regards to use of water there is no river water dispute because there is no one more state in western part of Karnataka but only east flowing rivers having this problem because there is number of states in eastern part of Karnataka. So by the time dispute will arise regards to use of water mainly Kaveri river water dispute one of the 
most prominent river water dispute between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu state. Now, we study about uh, west flowing rivers. One more difference that is, uh, all the west flowing rivers are uh, very fast flowing rivers because of steep slopes. Because of uh, steep slopes are there in a uh, western part of Karnataka, but uh, there is slight slopes in eastern part. That is why east flowing rivers are not a uh, fast flowing rivers. There are a number of west flowing rivers in our state. They are Sharavati and Kali, most prominent uh, west flowing rivers can be seen in Karnataka. Along with that, Gangavalli, it is also called Berthi River, Netravati, Varahi, Aganashini. These are major west flowing rivers in the state. And these rivers are fast flowing rivers because of uh, steep slopes. When it reached to steep slopes, when it passes through steep slopes, it will increase its uh, speed and it creates a uh, waterfalls also. So, that is why Sharavati river created Jog Falls, one of the highest waterfall in India. Not only in Karnataka, in India only Jog Falls, one of the highest waterfall and its total height is 293 meters from earth surface. One more question, most important one more question, highest waterfall and its height and do not forget Jogfall created by which river? Sharavati. This is also important. So, along with Sharavati river, some other west flowing rivers also create waterfalls. Example, Kataprabha river created Gokak waterfalls. Punchali waterfalls created by Aganashini river. See what is there inside the bracket? This is a name of the river. Outside the bracket, name of the waterfalls. Gaganachukki and Barachukki created by Kaveri river. Gaganachukki and Barachukki, what is the specialty of Gaganachukki and Barachukki? Gaganachukki and Barachukki called twin waterfalls because both created by same river in one place. So, these are major waterfalls created by west flowing rivers. So, you can see the picture of Kaveri river, one of the holy river and second most, second longest river in Karnataka after river Krishna and its both places Talakaveri were in Kodagu district. So, this river passes through southern Maidan region, Kodagu, Mandya, Mysore, Bangalore, then Tamil Nadu, it enters to Tamil Nadu. So, do not forget total length, total length of river Kaveri is 804, 804 kilometers from where to where? Tala Kaveri to Bay of Bengal. In Karnataka, its length is 380 kilometers, where in Karnataka. So, this is about uh, river Kaveri. You can see Kaveri river flowing direction. So, this is the uh, Talakaveri, birthplace of Kaveri river after flowing 380 kilometers in Karnataka enters Tamil Nadu and on the way it creates some, some tributaries and these tributaries connect with the different states like Kerala, Puducherry, here Puducherry joined with the Puducherry, only tributaries not major river, major river directly joined with the Bay of Bengal. So, this is a one more prominent West flowing river, Sharavati. Jogfall created by Sharavati. Jogfall, famous Jogfall created by Sharavati river. So, this is about uh, rivers of Karnataka and types of rivers. So, in this topic, we studied uh, two types of rivers. They are east flowing and west flowing rivers and its uh, differences. So, this is about uh, rivers of Karnataka. In next topic, uh, you can study about uh, irrigation system in Karnataka. I hope you understand. So, in next topic, you can study about uh, irrigation. What is irrigation system and types of irrigation system? So, this is all you can study about uh, irrigation system in next 